this was originally supposed to be part of my mistakes you may be making while learning Korean video, but I thought it would be a little bit too long to be in a video like that, so I figured I'd make a video of it on its own. If you hear any sounds in the background, it's my heater because it's hella cold. Sorry about that. But basically, this is a topic that honestly I thought was really self-explanatory. Like, I didn't know that it was a, a huge issue, but I have seen so many people doing this. And maybe it's not as obvious as I think it is, but I feel like it should be. <laughs> Basically every resource that I have used to learn Korean, you know, websites, books, whatever, have always had this tiny little section that say, do not rely on romanization when learning Korean. And I don't know if maybe people just are like naturally drawn to the English alphabet, you know, if you're an English speaker. It, it seems easier to just look at that rather than focus on the Hangul itself. In case you need an explanation on this, romanization is taking a Korean word and spelling it out with English alphabet letters. For example, Hyung is... This is the romanized version of Hyung. The things in my other video were more of like, probably shouldn't do this if you want to learn really well, but it's okay if you do because they're not really gonna stop you from learning that much. This is more of a don't, don't do this ever. <laughs> I've heard actual Korean people say romanization is a no-no. This is not just me spewing facts like I think I know everything about Korean like we all know that I don't really. I just, I speak of what I do know which is not very much. I try. <laughs> the reason why using romanization is a bad thing, it's a reason, there's more than one. Different Korean words can be spelled differently with the English alphabet. If you're a K-pop fan, if you've heard of the group Seventeen, there's a member, oh no, his name is spelled like this. That's how he spells it as the romanization, not using Hangul. You can also spell it like this, which is less used, but I've seen people use it. Um, actual Korean people have used it. It's just another version of the same sound, different letters, same sound. If you're not a K-pop fan, you can't relate to that, <laughs> although you probably still understand it. Take the word Nuna. Nuna is spelled like this normally, but it can also be spelled like this. Very similar, same letters, different sound, just like the last one. It can be kind of confusing. The second reason why it's not a good idea, if you were to actually go to Korea, you would see no romanization pretty much anywhere because they have their own alphabet. They'll either use English words or they'll use Hangul. It's not going to be the romanized, romanization, rom, rom, they're not going to use romanization on their own words just so American people can read it, or English-speaking people, I'm sorry. So if you tried to write something down for someone who's Korean that doesn't speak English, they most likely would have no idea what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> they can- a lot of Koreans can read the English alphabet, but when it's one of their own words spelled out, I don't think they would necessarily recognize it because they're used to seeing it in Hangul, unless they have seen it romanized somewhere before. <sighs> Am I making any sense? <laughs> I feel like my point is not coming through the way I want it to. Romanization is pretty much for lazy English speakers that don't necessarily feel like taking the time to read or learn Hangul. And I mean, if you do have an easier time reading the romanization, I know sometimes when I'm watching lyric videos for K-pop songs, I like to look at the romanization because usually they'll put the Hangul version, the Romanized version, then the complete English like translation. And I do sometimes like to look at the Romanized line just because I'm curious about if the sound is what I thought it was because English is my first language and the Romanized version is in my language, sort of. <laughs> Does that make any sense? The point is, as always, if something works for you, that's totally fine but I would not use 
romanization if you're really serious about learning Korean until maybe after you've learned everything. Just don't rely on it or use it heavily if you're making the effort to learn Korean and you have like a notebook that you write your notes in. Don't write the romanized version of something, write Hangul or English, because romanization will just kind of it'll make things a little too muddled. I'm so bad at explaining things. I really hope the point came across. <laughs> but that is it for this video. Sorry if it was confusing. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope maybe you learned something. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Don't use romanization when you're learning Korean. <laughs>